Okay, everyone, welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. We're just starting off a new session tonight, and if you remember where we had left off in the last session, we kind of go into this upper corner here, and what I was going to do is do a little bit more of the, the stuff around here, and then when we clear this corner, I think what we should do is head towards the story and advance it a little bit and see where it goes, okay? Uh, I don't want to do all the side content right now. I mean, there's a lot of it, and I feel like if we do it all right now, it's kind of front, it's loading the game too much in this part. And we've done quite a lot in this area, so let's do what's around this block, and then let's see what happens if we do another leg of the story, see what comes next. Okay. Here we go. Can you bring it on? Oh, I have zero MP with her. Well, we're just doing this. Blah! Triple, triple strike. <laughs> One of them died and is on the railing. Did you see that? She doesn't really have good, uh, any good area effect attacks yet. I think she'll get them eventually. Hmm. Nice combo right there. Okay. All right, Namba, learning uh, the new skills. Right, he's like he's learning slowly his skills. For chef. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Not a saucer discus. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a guy behind it. Lock that shit. Let's do it. They're not getting away. Here we go. How's the volume, everybody? Is it good? Jasper is great tonight, Jade. Thank you for asking. Oh. Oh. We haven't done any drink links, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't want to do drink links tonight. I just want to kind of focus on other stuff. I feel like we're going to do a bunch of drink links all together, much like we did with the Hawaii group. So, There's more where this came from. All right. The rest, the big rescue. Do I like bowling? Um, Surprisingly enough, I do. And I've probably done it a grand total of like five times in my life. When I was a kid, I went to this place called Duck Pin Bowling, which is essentially like bowling light with mini ball so it's easier for kids and then when i grew up i went real bowling maybe three four times with my friends and i enjoyed like getting beer and, and snacks while we bowled and that's all i did i never really went and did it a lot i love doing it though so it's a shame that i didn't get to do it more sort of off. maybe grab something from a vending machine yeah maybe snag an energy drink and fire yourself back up there's a thought might even grab two i am an adult meaning what exactly well those drinks are always so tiny <laughs> Reminds me of this lifelong dream of mine. I always wanted to drink my fill of those things. <laughs> That's a lifelong dream? What say we make that dream come true? Well, I won't stop you, but I don't recommend it. I've downed several of those things at a time, but it's only the first that tastes good. I had to call it quits after uh. three. Trust me, one bottle's enough. Yeah, I suppose moderation's the adult thing to do. Anyhow, here goes. Uh, you're still gonna do it? Wow, he is really tearing through that. And hawking it all back up. Oh, yeah, one bottle's enough. Now you sound like an adult. Let's be real, there was nothing adult about this. Wow. Well, we got a big leveling up there. Everyone got a level up there for that conversation. <laughs> I Personally, I think energy drinks, most of them taste absolutely disgusting. Very rarely do you find any that taste good. I don't think that's why they make them, so. Mom, can I please go play soccer? Uh, oh, you broke your promise to me the other day. Please, I promise I'll be better this time. Heartwarming sight, that is. I wonder if Haruto will grow up like that. That is, uh... Okay, Haruka is technically kind of his adopted daughter, although he never formally adopted her. That's Haruka's son, Haruto, who is in the, one of the major plot focuses of, of Yakuza 6. Okay. 
Haruto, Haruto, Saramura, Haruka, and Yuta's child. And something like a grandson to me. I guess that makes me a grandpa. Never thought I'll be able to see the faces of my grandchildren before I die. If only Lady Luck was on my side. Well, I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. I'll do anything to see how Haruto's this future unfolds. The humans sure are greedy. He's almost done all of these in this area, as you can see. We only have a few left. Okay. So, right around here, we got another one at Cafe Brave. Cafe Brave! Look who it is. Does it give me anything? How are, the, how are things, Suzuki-san? You see anyone in trouble? I hope you come to their rescue. That's it. More will unlock in later chapters, says Dark Gaming. Okay. Here's a reminiscing spot. Didn't think there'd be a cafe here. I'd like to order a shortcake to go with some strong black coffee. That'll make for a perfect pair. The sweetness of the cake balances out with the bitterness of the coffee. Two complementary flavor profiles. But if we're talking about the best combination ever, I'd say they'd have to be Date-san and helicopters. Every time I get involved in a crazy incident, Date-san almost always shows up to bail me out in a helicopter. Maybe that's why whenever I see Date-san in a chopper, I double down and stand my ground. This brings back or maybe I've just been conditioned to think that way. I have no idea how he thought of Date-san and helicopters when he thought about coffee and cake, but okay, I guess. And probably we should get some food here. Didn't say there was also a gift. Yes. And we need to give it to Saiko. Sy are you sure? Because she has the little yes, thing. Here we go. Let's dig in. Yummy. Here we go. Bon the real deal. The cream lattes they have here are the best. They're all fluffy and cute, and they taste amazing. I'm a big fan myself. Every time I get one, I have to say no to running out and buying my own espresso machine. Oh, come on. You should just do it. You know, I actually did end up going to the electronics store the other day. Turns out there are lots of good ones to pick from. They are pretty popular. And of course, the price goes up with each new bell or whistle. Stuff like adjustable temperature or automatic... Why are they cleaning. talking about this? <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> they can clean themselves? gradually set my sights higher and higher and before I knew it, I was getting ready to pay up. And? How much was it? 300,000 yen. <laughs> that much? Nanchan, you can afford that? Nah. I went in with a budget of 5,000, so all I could do was stare at it. Uh, that wouldn't get you any of them. Sure, but I always seem to fall into it, money or no. Oh, well. The lattes I get with you guys taste better anyway. That's enough for me. Wow. <laughs> All that, and you still tried to squeeze something heartfelt out of it. <laughs> they leveled up more. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Walk Warrior says, All adult conversations go exactly like that one, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, was that was great. That was certainly food. That was certainly oh, food? Is that what she said? That was certainly food. What did you think it was? I fed you rocks? Better have been food. All right, here's a conversation link over here. We gonna fight some more? What kind of music are you into, Sunny? I don't stick to a single genre, so I'm into all kinds of things, even oldies. I've been into pure love and comrade show lately. I'm a fan of that one too. How about a duet sometime? A duet with you, Kiryu-san. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Wait till I start voice lessons first. Wait, it's not like I'm asking you to debut as a singer. <laughs> you really are a perfectionist, aren't you? Well, yeah, let's just go with that. All right. Voice lessons. Very exciting. Are there any airplane airlines I like? The only one that I've ever really enjoyed more than another one was JetBlue, because JetBlue by default gives you more legroom. But that's probably the only difference I know between them. Should I open it? Anything good in here? Oh, uh, we've got a muscle booster. I have all those cans I never use. It's all the single cans that like like a stat up. I don't think I've used any of them in the game, have I? I think at one point I did pump a few of them into Ichiban, only because I was having some issues with something. But outside of that, I probably have like a ton of them saved up. All right, there's a reminiscing thing over here, and then once we're done with that, we'll probably see if we can get towards the story again. You're going to regret this. Something wrong. Hell high. Damn, three of them got owned. One of them somehow it missed. 
Follow my lead. Oosh! Try and stop me. Smack him around. Wait, there's another one? There was another one behind us all along. I didn't even see him. Wound opening. Yeah, very nice. The chef slice. Dark Gaming says I flew first class a few times. They gave us endless Korean wine. It was amazing. Yeah, I, I've certainly never done that. Nor do I ever predict I ever will in my life. It's way too expensive. Moving up in the world. Well done. He got another uh, level of the, the uh, Lambe skill. Very nice. And to reminisce. The ocean. Sometimes, just sometimes, the ocean reminds me of Saijima. I wonder why. Maybe because he's a man as big as the ocean and his heart is as vast? Or maybe it's because he washed up on the beach in front of my house? <laughs> I've never met anyone like him before. Guys like him usually end up dead. Well, he's ridiculously tough, physically and mentally. But he never flaunts his strength. In fact, he's the quietest and most considerate person that I've ever met. He really is one hell of a man. This brings back memories. Whenever I think of him, I start thinking I still got a long way to go. There you go. Saijima. Cool. Alright, I think now we should head towards the story. It's over here. So, perhaps fast travel to, like, here, do these quick things, and then there's a conversation, and then a conversation, and then the story. We'll knock them out along the way. Makes sense to do a few of these quick ones. Joshua says he had a blackened chicken Alfredo for dinner. This sounds good. Chicken Alfredo's pretty tasty. Blackened version. It has some char on it. Probably is great. Ingredient and cookware store. Yes, High-end kimchi. Restores 150 HP. We don't have any of that. You know what? Sparkling. Oh, these are the... Uh, okay. This is... Oh! We found it! We found it! We found the store that sells the great chef weapons. Dude, they sell a 14 million yen spatula for Nanba. Oh, do I want to get it? Oh, man, do I want to get it? 14 million yen. Hmm. It would be such a massive upgrade. Like, ridiculously huge upgrade. Uh... The thing is, I don't think this is the one that upgrades, though. It's not the one that you upgrade at the at the, the blacksmith, right? I think this is just a really good weapon. Tough decision. If I get this, it's still a great upgrade. At the least, I'm going to get the stainless ladle. Hold on. Stainless ladle, all-purpose spatula, right? Ah, you got... Oh, yes! Yes! The all-purpose spatula, you upgrade. You need lava crystals and an empty cough drop tin, and we don't have those yet. But it's upgradable. Yeah. For sure. The stainless ladle, you can also upgrade with ice geodes. Man. <clears throat> this is the best one. Chef de Cuisine Spoon. You need a chef ladle, which probably is like a quest item or something, right? I think I might do it. If, you have, if I instead invest in the shop, I unlock all the best weapons. Yeah, but you have to craft them. So you have to have the lower level weapons first. Right? I think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to splurge. I feel like it. Did I say? I did it. Alright. Well, he's monstrously upgraded now. <laughs> we just hit a bunch of things. Look, little spender, big spender. We hit them all. There you go. All right. The Gumi Jewel headquarters are just up ahead. Yes, they're, now they're blocked, but these are from uh, like a the original Like a Dragon. My history with Gumi Jewel goes way back to my connection with their parent organization, the Jingwon Mafia. And now soon he's not only leading them, but after Zhao ceded power to her, she's also in charge of the Luma. I mean, no exaggeration to say that soon he has the entire Yokohama underground under her thumb. He must be under a lot of pressure. Still, what an impressive feat. Even though she's only been a short, a short while since we met, I can tell she was born to be a leader. She has the potential for it. 
Seeing the next generation curiosity into the future fills That's me with hope. You sounded like a geezer just now. Yes, you did. Indeed, you did. We got an achievement. Precious memories. Gather 30 memoirs of a dragon. Cool. We do this, then we got a warm you right up conversation. We got a lot going on here. The menacing men. Oh no, it's these creeper dudes. Nearly as effective anymore. I won't hold back. Where is the essence? The wild sweep. Here we go. Nothing personal. Here we go. Nice. Knocked them all. He died. Only one left. No, two left. Well done. Perfect. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Oh my god, he flopped all over the place. Follow up? No follow up, darn. Showtime, he's gonna flash. Oh my god, it's an ultimate tornado flash attack. And we lost MP because of it, you son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I hate those tornado flashers. They're so annoying. Ugh, it's so cold out. Hold on, where am I going? Due east. Yep, we're going due east. <laughs> Get something warm to eat. Oh, well in that case, how about ramen? Mm, let's get soba. And so we reach an impasse. Uh, curious son. How about you make the call? Huh? Ramen sound good? Soba all the way, yeah? Hello, Green Goblin. Oh, man. If I had to choose, I would actually get ramen. Ramen, I guess. You. Why? <laughs> I knew you were a man of taste, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Miso ramen. With butter on top. The butter melts oh, into shit. broth like cream. It coats the noodles and the chashu. Perfect for cold winter nights. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Ramen it is. Well, that was easy. Curious, son. Ever think about being a food critic? Why? I was just trying to explain my decision. I wish I could describe things the way you can. <laughs> like a modern revolution in noodles and soup. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's less about what's being said than who's saying it. What's that supposed to mean? Namba, let's just get some food. Okay. Wait, another one? Oh, yeah. There's another conversation. Holy crap, they just keep popping up randomly. Uh, I received a $4 tip from Vince Offer. If you're interested in a cooking utensil, you're going to love my nuts. Buy this slap chop. Vince Offer. What? I don't even know. What? I don't know. Vince, thanks for the $4 super chat. <laughs> I guess he's, he's, it's a slap chop joke or something. I don't know. It's pretty outdated. <laughs> a slap chop joke. That's pretty, uh... Not very timely, just saying. Slap Chop's pretty old. Anyway. Thank you for the $4 tip. That's the biggest tip of the night. And I appreciate that. Okay. I heard this from Jungi Han the other day. Hmm? You use those windmills over in Komi Jewel to power you your windmill. washing machine, oh, right? Oh my. You guys still into that? Oh, you mean wind energy? Of course. We look into that just about every day. The new fan's performance has been optimized to catch even the tiniest breeze. Oh. Then that means... That's right. We've got spin cycle and everything. <sighs> the goal is to generate stable power, but it's hard to do so with renewable energy. Probably be a while before you can get the dryer running, huh? Well, I could always strap you to a bicycle. I'm sure that'd do the trick. I think I'll pass. They're literally walking back and forth up this road. Just dicking around. Look, they're all getting stuck. Oh, oh God, now we got a purple going. group? Can we cut the bullshit? I just want to do these missions. And keep... The enemies won't fucking leave. Look. They're obnoxious. This area is a Korea town now. Here we go. Reminds me of my history with the Jingwon Mafia. Our feud dates as far back as Kazama-san's time. 
We've had a number of conflicts with them in the past. It was kill or be killed, but here I am now fighting alongside a remnant of the Jingwang Mafia, Zhong Yi Han. Well, if you told me this years ago, I'd never believe it. Guess ah, you never know what back. life's got in store. The future's always unpredictable. Okay. You want to know what's true? The game just spoiled itself. Did you hear what he just said in that conversation? He said, I'm fighting alongside Jung Yi Han. No, we're not. Right now, we have Soon Hee, but Jung Yi Han's not in our party yet. He literally spoiled it. Oops. The game spoiled itself. I didn't realize it. Uh. Okay. It looks like trouble. Let's do it. Oopsie poopsie. Little spoiler. You're going to regret this. Ah, oh, crap. Guard break. Monster heal. He's a monster heal. Well done. There you go. Oh, they, they separated, so I'm not going to hit more than one. Come on. You fucker. Well. I'm gonna try this, we're probably gonna hit one. It only hit the one, son of a bitch. He's on fire now, though. Follow my lead. Hmm. I'm just weak to it, we'll try this. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention! Ah. Uh. I just don't have I don't have the good abilities yet. Son of a bitch. Try this. Nice, killed one. Something wrong. Font. That's gonna make it he only fights him. Nope, it missed. He died from the flames. Beautiful. I'm on a run. Let's go. Back attack. Nice back attack kill, and he gets knocked down. And finish him while he's on the ground. Beautiful. Okay. Very good. Great. Okay. So now for the story. That's what we're heading towards. We gotta head east. There is a conversation down this alleyway, so we could do that on the way. I'm just trying to hit up as much as I can along the way that we're doing the story, so. Running around town like this together is a great way to make up for my lack of exercise. You don't usually exercise some heat? Well, I keep up with training so that I don't get rusty, of course. But as the head of an organization, I spend a lot of time sitting in meetings or at a desk. Seems even the leader of Komi Jewel can't escape desk work. That's exactly why I try to find moments to exercise during everyday activities. Taking advantage of those early morning radio exercises fosters a nice, disciplined life. Hmm. That is very disciplined. Good on you for waking up so early. Well, when I sleep in, I just use a recording and work out in the afternoon. Uh, what about that is disciplined? Things are going well. <laughs> Uh, no, Derek, I've never had chasu ramen with pork belly in it. I've had ramen that has, uh, like a slice of pork, but it's not the pork belly. The pork belly is the fattier meat that almost looks like bacon, right? Yeah, I never had that in, in a ramen before. Uh, King Michael, good evening. Lord Prince Albert, with our first super chat of the night, a $5 super chat, he says, Oh, this is a private message meant only for 672. Phil, please disregard. I hope tonight you sleep uncomfortably and you will develop a stuffy nose. Wow. Wow. That is an awful thing to wish upon someone. But thank you very much. Lord Prince Albert for the super chat. I appreciate that. Wow. <clears throat> Why don't I do a Baldur's Gate double stream? Because I don't want to do a Baldur's Gate double stream. The, the crowd for Baldur's Gate it can usually only make the daytime streams. I did try Baldur's Gate as a night stream, and it didn't work. People actually said they missed it, and they were upset. That's why. <laughs> okay, we have another conversation. And then I guess we can do the story. One more conversation to go. Good evening, Dentronics. Light as a feather. It's inside, huh? 
Oh, here it is. Nothing beats fresh baked bread. That said, I've been buying it less and less these days. <clears throat> Did you get bored, you think? Oh, no. It's just that I recently got myself a bread maker, so I've been really into that ah, instead. A bread maker? So you've been baking your own? The newest ones are pretty amazing. They knead, ferment, and bake all on their own. Huh. You can even adjust the fermentation time to change the texture of the bread. Oh, okay. And by tuning the temperature, you can change up how soft you want your crust. Oh, there's a great deal on it right now, too, and it even comes with a cashback. Have you ever thought about writing commercials? <laughs> huh? All right. Hooked on fresh bread. Here we go. Another cafe. Very good. Let's dig in. Bon meal. All four. Oh, nothing quite like warm milk when you need to unwind. I could drink it every day of my life. Hmm. What's on your mind? Come to think of it, I can't stand having to drink barium at the doctor's. Milk looks similar enough that I was just reminded of Barium? That's the I was chemical they can see inside of you, right? Your drink. What were you thinking about some kind of medical test or I've never taken barium. Is it nasty? Hmm, kinda. No, it's less about the taste and more like it's just really tough to swallow. Oh really? Is that thick? I barely get it down. Ew. So it'd be better if they made it more palatable. Well, not necessarily. The body was tricked into thinking it was good food that would activate digestion. And since that raises stomach acid, it worked the test. Well, to be expected from Mr. X Nurse. Ah, oh, true, he would know all about that. <laughs> right. The logic makes sense, but still tough to swallow. <laughs> Get it? The barium? A cheesy pun. <sighs> now that joke is what's really tough to swallow. Let's not do that again. Wow. Uh, yes, King Michael, I saw that GTA 6 teaser when it came out, what, months ago? And I even commented it at length on my podcast, so. All right. Thanks for buying. That was great. That's certainly food. That's certainly food. That's, that's the line they recorded for her to say. That's certainly food. It's like saying, well, at least I didn't eat shoe leather, right? Like, what kind of a line is that? It's the worst reaction to a meal ever. That's certainly food. Have I ever had a CT scan? Uh, no, I had a, I had an well, MRI once. Here. That's like the it's a Chinese pub. Uh, craziest test I ever had, I think. Lin -lin. Actually, Sachan went undercover there. Nearly got her armpit slipped. <laughs> oh God! Remember from the first game? Oh yeah. Sorry you had experienced that. <laughs> Aside from that fiasco, the pub itself was great. That right? Then maybe it's worth checking out. You out on this one, Sachan? Uh. If everyone's going, I'll go. Without anyone I know is still there. Besides, I'm sure the current staff isn't connected to their sordid past. All right. Let's go have a drink there sometime. There's an amazing smell coming from the duct. I wish I had some rice. What the heck? Oh, right. They already talked about that. Nama talked about that, that you associate a smell with food, and you eat, like, a crappy food, but you have a good smell with it, and it tastes like what you like. We talked about no that, huh? So far. All right, here's our uh, our story. We don't have any money for this important weapon shop. What does this guy sell? We already looked here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already looked at that shop. Okay, cool. Let's do the story. Let's see what's next in the story here. <clears throat> well, there's a boss. Hold on. There's a boss fight. Let's do the boss fight, and then we'll do the story. Damn it. Uh, Do it. Well, let's get what the hell? Living Christmas trees. Gilly men. Oh, the gilly, gilly, gilly men. Yeah. Gilly men. Do much fight against the gilly men. Oh, yeah. look at that. A line of them. Two of them got paralyzed. Beautiful. Gilly men. Fighting the evil gilly men. Nothing. There we go. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> nice combo. <laughs> that was great. Oh, the gilly 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 man. Uh, me leave them charred to reduce their defense. 
and it hurts a group. Let's do that. Let's do it to all of them and see how it works. Oh my god, a stupid idle pose. It only worked on one. Ah, uh, it only worked on one. That sucked. Okay, they're all weak to fire. That's great. Watch this. Hope this hurts. The old one, the other one's on fire. Morimoto. Really, man. Stealth mode, uh oh. Blocked it, nice. Let's go. In for the kill. How do you like this? Almost dead. I won't hold back. They're all separated now. That's fucking annoying. Ready for the knockout. Need a light? Yeah, see, I can't hit this one. How stupid. Hope you're ready. Hopefully she kills this guy. Yes. She easily kills him. Very good. No begging for mercy now. Can't really hit either, like both, can I? Can? No. Oh, I'll just do this. Hope this hurts. I missed the button input. Dang it! You're going to regret this. Try to block this. How do you like this? They're all so low. Kill them. Yes, that was good. See, they're so low on HP, but won't die. Guard again. Oh, two more shots. Here we go. Oh, oh. Combos, spatula slaps. Very nice. The levels up. We got a tactic, a five-star tactical helmet. I wonder if that's better than what we have. I think we have one of those already. Hell yeah! <laughs> yes. Pretty sure we have a tactical helmet already. Okay. Surfer paint yellow. <laughs> Expert's helmet. Nullify stun. Expert island hat. Never mind. None of us have that. All right, so who who probably uses the best? Uh, it's good that it nullifies stun. Increase critical hit rate by ten percent. Cool. All right, story time. I remember this area. Let's keep going. Oh, and there to sell stuff. What the hell? Completely empty room. How useful. <laughs> There's a boss fight here. Hey. I have someone to take care of real quick. Am I waiting for me? No problem. Sure you'll be okay on your own. We want us to tag along. <laughs> it's fine. I'll be back before you know it. You mm. better. wonder what's up with him. Who knows? To... <laughs> That message should they be waiting here? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> it's been a while, Cosmic Hear You. Wait, a moan? You found strength. A moan clan believes that they're the strongest in the world and is made up of skilled fighters. We've clashed countless times as long as I can remember. They keep hounding me to a fight, saying that the, that me being the legendary dragon hindered your clan's claim to strength. You haven't forgotten about us, have you? How could I when you're this persistent? How'd you guys know that I was back? After your retirement, we targeted Ichiban Kasuga, who'd been making a name for himself as the new dragon in town. But while we were keeping tabs on him and his flunkies, you showed up right out of thin air. Surprising, really. 
You think the dragon would resurge? Couldn't keep yourself awake, could you? Not quite. I didn't return because I wanted to. Not that it's any of your business. Why, of course it is. In the past, you've insulted the Amon clan time after time. The fact remains that you are but a thorn in our side. <laughs> and if you intend on making a comeback, we won't let that slide. Besides, having you roam the streets in your, in your weakened state, guarded by your allies, only tarnishes our reputation. <laughs> feels like take, take, feels like talking to a wall, just like old times. Carry your son. Didn't I tell you guys to wait? Sorry, we were just worried about you. Who's he? This guy picking a fight with you, Kiryu-san? No need for Kiryu-san to bother with him. If he wants a beating so badly, he'll have to go through all of us. So these are your little friends? How weak you've become, Cosmic Kiryu. You once shouldered everything against your, everything yourself and have fought alone. You think you'd have allies looking after you now. You think strength means not relying on others? Well, putting your trust in someone else takes real courage. Quit shoving your ideology down other people's throats. Keep running your mouth about Kiryu-san, and I'll show you no mercy. Interesting. Let's see how far the mighty dragon has fallen. I'll let you guys Go Amon. Or Eamon. I don't know how to say his name. He's level 54. That's a problem. I was instantly killed. This was the main story, by the way. There was nothing I could do. That was supposed to happen. Wow. You're weak, Cosmic Kiryu. Too weak. Both physically and mentally. Is it all you can do? I told you. I'm not the same man that I was before. What a bore. Here, how about this? Say I kill one of your precious comrades, would that awaken your old self? What'd you say? What? Our clan's line of work is assassination, you know. It'd be easy for me to sacrifice as many lives as it takes to revive the legendary dragon. Don't you dare lay a hand on them. Ah. <laughs> Looks like you do have some fight left in you. It's time that you take this seriously for all of your allies' sake. I guess some things never change. Now show me your true strength and show me what these bonds of yours are made of. You better, if you want to protect your friends. Aim on! I'll let you guys bring it on. When his height meter is full, Kiryu can now use Dragon's Resurgence, a powerful skill that allows him to move freely on the battlefield. Hold right trigger to activate it, then use B, X, or Y to attack until the timer at the top of the screen expires. You can increase the duration of Dragon's Resurgence by strengthening Kiryu's bonds with the party. Follow my lead. Okay. Time to burn you now. <laughs> It's the old combo system from regular Yakuza. They brought it back. He's got rapid rapid punch, heavy attacks, and the grab. He's got all three. Cool. Doing better than I thought. Interesting. Good evening, CC. Exactly, their heat moves again. Err! Puff! Puff! I won't let you hurt them! That hit just now just now felt like the ones from the past. Left the mark too, no doubt about it. Looks like the bond that you share with your allies is what gives you strength now. You still raring to go? No. I'll leave you be for now. If you were just a geezer on the decline, I would have killed you here and now. But you've still got some growing to do with this bond and your allies that you have or whatever. Call it what you will. Should you develop your bonds and grow even stronger, I'll return to fight you once more. I'll be uh, the one that you take down, not some illness. Oh, I'll be the one to take you down, not some illness. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that sentiment. Don't you dare forget that. The strength of our bonds, huh? Here you, son. Are you okay? Right. Yeah. And you guys? We're fine. Somehow, that was a tough fight. Sorry for dragging you guys into this mess. All good. We're used to getting mixed up and stuff. Not like it wasn't any of, any of our business anyway. Huh? They mess with our friend, and then they mess with us, right? Right. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty then, that takes care of that. Come on, let's get going.
Seems I got some tough friends. <laughs> it's been a while since he really had like a party of friends. If you think about it, probably like Goro Sa Sa uh, and Saijima are his last two, really. The bonds are up. Look at that. Wow. Uh, awesome. Well, I made it through that. Thanks to all of them. Still not sure what's awaiting us, though. Before I head back to Kasuga's place, maybe I should buy some new gear and make sure I'm ready. All equipment to four-star. We are. Like, we have four-star gear. So I think we're pretty set in that regard. Uh. Yeah, look. Like, literally everything's four-star four or higher. Everything's good. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we'll save and we'll see where they want us to go next, right? Well, let's see. <clears throat> uh, where is the next story? Down there. Well, we've already done all the side questing down there. So, looks like just a straight shot and advance the plot. Because, I, like I said, I'm going to do... I'll do the side content as the story goes to these parts. But I see no reason to just travel over there and do it all now. When we'll probably be passing through those parts for story elements. So, I think we'll head down here and we'll do whatever the next story is and go from there. Okay. There's a Like a Dragon movie. Oh, I didn't even know they ever made a Like a Dragon movie. From 2007. That is super old. Ugh, it was called Like a Dragon, but back then we called the games Yakuza games, right? I think the first one came out around then. Fine. It's me. Got it. I'll be right over. Something came up. I'll have to return to Gomejul. Will you be all right? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll be okay. Tired anyhow, so I'll take a break. Let's call it a day. We'll meet up again later. Roger that. Feeling a little worn, but it's no surprise, all things considered. I should get some rest. All right. <laughs> Evening already? Was I out that long? You going to answer? Hello? Here you, son. It's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here. Check the video I sent you. Hmm. It was posted just now by Tatara, one of the more popular VTubers. Oh, VTuber. VTuber. Oh, no. Oh, no. So they're doing to him what they did to Kasuga at the beginning of the game. Yep. What's up, people? Tatara channel coming at ya. As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media is just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is... A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good look at this photo. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Known as the Dragon of Dojima in Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo Clan, the largest Yakuza group in the Kanto area. Seven years ago, in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang-related activities. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii is no more than a few days old. And if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? Oh, they got a video of him freeing Ichiban. Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Oh, wow. Long time no see. Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu-san, didn't he? Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead. Oh, and we're not done just yet. Who's following this them? This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here. Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga, whose cover we blew on this channel before. Yokohama's so-called hero. So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking. 
Plus, he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Oh, boy. Okay, what is really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go. These gentlemen are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. You've seen the footage of Kazuma Kiryu yourselves. What do you think? That's him. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh my god, these As assholes. Fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday. Which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That, in turn, leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake his death? How is that even possible? Kazuma Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, and despite their rivalry, he was also quite close with Chairman Watase of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well... I'm sure you can imagine they'd comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him... Is that...? Yes, that would be the two of us. Can you elaborate on what's going on here? It was a complete setup from the get-go. Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Now why? After spending so long in hiding, would he suddenly emerge like this? I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. Uh, right. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing right. the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Wow, I'm glad you're both safe. What a menace Kiryu is. How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still, in an effort to make a difference, we brought this to your attention in hopes that it would help. Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so much for this information. Well, everyone, Tatara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Well, pretty obvious that whoever this VTuber is is working directly with the, uh, the Seryu clan now. Because the whole thing was a setup with cameras Here everywhere and everything. We got trouble on the internet. It's the damn Tatara again. The... I guess you already know. Son, he just finished telling me. You gonna be alright? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Don't say that, Kiryu-san. You know... Maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks, and then some. Yeah, I mean, he wants to go fuck him up. Seriously, I for one want to know what the hell they were thinking. And what was their goal in all this? Could be we got under their skin yesterday. And this was how they retaliated. Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Excuse Something me. Something like former Yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. That's true. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped It was ready. already set up. Yep. <laughs> nice catch. 
You got a good eye, Psycho. Sonny, did you come running all this way? The situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet, but there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk for one, but as you saw, they did it anyway. So, here's what I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda that suits his needs. Hmm. And that's to 5 million subscribers, by the way. And I'll even take it a step further and say this. I think Ebina's been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Wait a minute. So, Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, is behind the Tatara channel of all things? <laughs> what makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I don't know the particulars. There wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. But with history like that, I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, though? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. <sighs> oh, you know what? This involves Ichiban directly. Right after Tatara effectively canceled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Meaning? Well, I just wonder. Had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then, Sawashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. The timing was too convenient. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Ichiban along. And if that's true, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polykana. So, if everything was orchestrated by Ebina and Sawashiro, what would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stunned. I've seen so long and fading. Should we go have another? <laughs> my idol. I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self. We shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay, then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Serio clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijinsho. So, we should hit their HQ first. Hmm. Figure we might be able to get who's in charge to talk. Nanva, that's actually not such a bad idea. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Now their headquarters in a Jinch, that's uh that's the other map, is it not? I think. Did we we didn't even recover yet. Hold on, I want my free recovery. You, you can take a photo outside the safe house door. Oh, okay. I did not know that there was a photo at the safe house door. Let's get our free recovery. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you're absolutely right. There it is. Found it. Thank you. Picture perfect. Of course, it looks like it's supposed to be at night. <laughs> okay. Cool. The 2007 Like a Dragon movie was based on the 2005 PlayStation 2 game Yakuza. So, wow. They made one right after the first game. I mean, that was probably a bad choice. They should have waited for the games to become bigger or whatever, right? All right. So, you playing all this right down here. It's really close. There's enemies in every direction. I wanted to avoid enemies. And instead, we walked into a different group of enemies. <laughs> right? We went from enemies to enemies. Like, ah, son of a bitch. Oh, I went to auto... I went to auto fight by accident. My fault. I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. Oh, he's got it? Here we go.
That wasn't bad. <laughs> that was pretty damn good. Alright. Have some drinks! Nice. Spread the bubbly. Yeah. What a nice tour. Eh. I'll take you on. Can't line any of them up. Oh. Well, Tribe is probably gonna miss. Hope this hurts. Nice, he's hit too. Pick with triangle, grab a circle, he can do more than punch. Oh, I know. I just want to do those crazy, uh, the combos for the group. Focus on this asshole. A heavenly host. Here we go. This guy's basically a mini boss. Oh, come on! The great spatula is ruined. Is he weak, weak to anything we have? I don't think he's weak to anything at all. Let's try the whip. Oh, he's weak to lightning. Cool. Maybe this will work then. Nope. Didn't work. Still asleep. Huh? Right. Attack, attack, proximity, attack, combo. Oh, let's go. Oh, proximity bonus. Oh, it's a lot of blood. This is the worst. Wanna play, do we? Back attack combo. Come on, we still won't die. Ah, you're going to regret this. <laughs> Kiryu is still asleep. Here we go. Here we go. Spark <laughs> timer. I wonder what that means. We got a whole sparkling wine. We got a rare item there. Wait, was that a mini boss fight? Oh, she learned a new thing, twirling beat. That was that a mini boss fight? Yeah, I think it was. I think we accidentally walked right into a mini boss fight. Because we got a, a five star boost weapon for doing that. Okay. Should I open it? Nice. Treasure tracker, mood buster. All right, cool. Chris Jericho had a wine called Little Bit of the Bubbly, and the website no longer exists. That was like the very beginning of AEW, right? Became a meme or something. I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen AEW myself, so. Okay. Here we are, Kiryu son. Serio Clan headquarters. <laughs> there he is. Been waiting for you to. Uh oh. I'm here with Men's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary. Yep. Yakuza now they're all looking for him. Oh man. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing Kazuma Kiryu. Ah, oh, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas lapping up a bigger man's fame. That's exactly right. How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's like <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy. How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments, concerns? Give me something. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, 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 I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Talk about bad acting. Yo, did you guys see that? You freaking wrecked me. That right there's the real uninhibited Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for child's play. So get that. I suppose if you were already sight. wanted by police <laughs> and Yakuza, you could beat up anyone you wanted, right? Right? <laughs> what the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone. Well, guess what? It's all on camera. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't die on impact. Hurry up and get him, guys. I'll be right here recording. 
Uh, what makes them think they're gonna beat him? Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera. This makes no sense at all. You really want another reality check, huh? Looks like your boys are too scared to move a muscle. That's all right. We got ourselves an arrangement. <laughs> Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First he spreads lies, then he lays a trap. I'd say his true colors are starting to show. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. And how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight, they've got one. A great A ass beating! Let's go! Alright, let's do it. I'm on a roll. Let's go. What? Man, they all split up. Hmm. Again, see, they're all split up. How annoying. There's no real way to hit them all because they're all split up. Well, we did giant damage, so I'm pleased with how that went. Get over there, digital con artist. <laughs> Beat up that digital con artist. There's many of those in today's world. Take that. Uh oh. Second wave. You're going to regret this. Something wrong. In for the kill. Here's a reward. Nice! She had four of them! Killed one, almost... Wow, paralyzed ones? That was great. Here we go. You ain't going nowhere. Gonna take you for a ride! Nice! Almost dead. I'm not backing down. Watch this! Hope this hurts. Double kill. Final hit. Nice. They didn't get to attack once. Good shit. Third wave? No, just two waves. That's it. Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. Very good. Right before, you said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? Uh, hard to say. Answer me now, or that bone's going back in its socket. <laughs> and I can't guarantee you'll like it. <gasps> okay, uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you and said you'd be coming to Serio HQ. How would they have known that he was coming to the Serio HQ? To hold on, hold on. How would they have known? One of these people might be a mole. It, we know it's not Namba. Could Sayako or Sunhi have turned? Because how could someone have known out of their little group where they were going? That doesn't make any sense. Unless Ichiban's place is bugged. That could be too. Maybe someone broke into the place and bugged it. Huh. If she would get footage that the clan would protect us if we did. So Sunhi's guess was right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings. Yeah. And so Shiras is accomplice. They also made Kasuga go to Hawaii. There had to be a reason for that, too. What kind of reason, though? Let me ask what's happening in Hawaii. Ah. I've got a contact over there. Who would that be? He probably means Hanawa-san. Guy from the Taito. Hello, Phoenix to May. Good evening. No answer? What's going on? He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. Why isn't there a voicemail? 
Uh oh. <clears throat> this ain't good. Uh oh. Oh shit, they killed him. That's it for chapter eight. Finally done with it. I mean, that was a very long chapter. As you can see, here's the end of chapter seven. And here's chapter eight. That was a good, well, we didn't even save since earlier. So that was a good six to seven, maybe eight hours of gameplay in chapter eight. Damn. Well, that was pretty crazy. We're going to save up and continue on, but it's a good place to split the part, guys. So thanks so much for watching Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I'll see you in the next part when it looks like we're heading into Chapter 9 and likely going to find out what just happened in Hawaii. Very nice.